Hello, this is a review of the Fellows 125 CI Crosscut Shredder that we see here in the middle. And I'm going to be comparing it to what I'm replacing, which was an old office, um, personal office style little shredder that I had down there. And all the jams that I may have had with it, or the slower shredding times, and so on. So we're going to compare it to this beast of a shredder in comparison. That is the Fellows 125 CI. So, of course, you get it much bigger in size to compare it to the other ones. Um, and you got a much bigger drawer, so you got the whole drawer here that pulls out the whole entire thing there, and compared to the little drawer that you have here. Um, you get a lot more controls on the top here, so this one will tell you right here, uh, you put it on auto most of the time, but it'll tell you as you go how much you're sticking in there. So it'll start with green, go to yellow, go to red to let you know you're pushing in too much to, so that you know when it's right. You do get some manual controls, although I honestly never have to use these. I just use the auto setting all of the time. And these just tell you some things like, hey, you opened the bin. Like, oops, see, it says door's open. Now it's not. And the same thing if you touch this while it's running, it'll tell you something like that. Um, so you can orient this however you want. Just for the purpose of showing you the difference, I oriented it this way but you can easily rotate it. So this is how I use it, because I'm gonna eventually slide it on in right to the next of the opening that I have back there. And I used to have this thing tucked in the corner down there. Now I'm just gonna slide this one on in so it's not literally gonna be in the middle of my room anymore. So other features you have here is you got this little slip cover you can fold down. The whole point of this is for credit cards or CDs, you can slip it down. And basically I think it just holds it centered so that you get into the right place amongst the teeth that are in there. But it's really just drop things in and it shreds it really well. It's really fast in comparison to my other one here. Um, you can mostly fit most things lengthwise, except there are some envelopes you'll get that you're going to have to orient the lengthwise to send down, which some people have concerns about that um, if you actually look at the strips that it cuts, um, it's going to, uh, you'll say, hey, I can actually read part of a social security number if you read it the lengthwise, if somebody were to actually go through all of that. Um, so then you, what I do is if I'm really concerned to take it out and send them through the, the normal way. Now the size of the cuts, I have some examples here. Um, when I send a whole bunch of sheets through, you can kind of get an idea of what it does. And depending on the number of sheets you send through, it won't make a bit of difference in the, the noise or the speed that it works. I've sent stacks through and I've sent single sheets through. It sounds the same, it works the same. If you put a little too much, it'll give you a red signal and will actually outright stop if it gets too, too much and then auto reverse and stuff like that. But honestly, what happens is the width of this is pretty much your limiting factor. You're not gonna be able to stuff more into this hole than it will actually be able to handle. So if you can stuff it into this hole pretty quickly, it's gonna take it. If you'd have to really take a really thick set, really work at it, because I actually had a whole box of stuff I was trying to get rid of out of my filing cabinets. And what I would find is I, this thing shreds faster than I could feed the sheets into this machine. And only if I really worked at dropping a thicker stack all at once, and you have to sit there and hold it because they'll fray at the edge and won't get in there. So if it naturally drops into this wide of a hole, you're good to go. I like that this one has an auto setting that's going to be energy efficient. It's going to go to sleep on its own and then wake right up as soon as you drop something in. So let's test. First, the comparison. My old shredder, just as an example. <laughs> And now this one. In a second test, but this time with just three sheets, let's send this one in here. Doesn't quite fit, let's work on it. Come on, there we go. That's the biggest problem that I had with that one there is that when you don't send it perfectly through, it ends up bunching up on the sides and makes more noise. Now I just grabbed a stack larger than I just sent through there and let's just go ahead and send these on through. Let's shred some more. Well, this is what you get. Everything that you see here. And of course, you get the unit itself that we see here. It seems fairly well constructed. Sides are made of metal, plastic molding on the sides. It's pretty heavy, it's top heavy as well. 
Um, it has actually rollers on the back down here. So you see the rollers? So it rolls on the back but has feet on the front. So um, you, what you do is if you want to roll it around, just lift it up and you can roll it back and forth as you see there. Now I've already pulled out the drawer. So the drawer is lighter. Um, it's pretty light as you can see there. It's made of a lightweight, almost a cardboard like material down there. You'll want to put a bag in this as you go. And if I pull it out, I can show you the back of the unit as well. So back here is just a handle to help you lift if you need to. The power switch and the, the power cord goes there. Um, also, it has two holes in the back. If I go all the way to the back down here, um, down in the back right there, in the center of my screen was a hole. And then what they do is they give you right here um, inside the box little bumpers. So if you want to, you anchor it to the wall. I see a screw there. You give you two of these. These actually smell quite a bit like strong rubber smell. I'd imagine that will dissipate. Um, but that's how you can anchor it to the wall if you want to. And with the rubber, it should buffer it a little bit. Um, also out of the box, you get your usual sets of papers. Thank you with a number to call if you have problems. Manual. Um, they also give you a bottle of oil out of the box. So um, you'll want to keep it oiled. Follow the instructions in the manual to do that. So it's nice that it came with one. A roll of bags for putting in the bin of course and of course the power cord to plug it on in so this is what you get one thing to remember to do is it comes with a sheet of paper on top that reminds you to do the following you have to remove the wing nuts here and there's another wing nut in the back over here where you have to remove that um, before you use it for the first time because that locks the the mechanics in place for shipping from amazon it comes in a box like this now it should be okay if it comes with a little bit of damage on the box in different places because it should be pretty well protected inside. It's heavy, so to open I recommend laying the box on its side, cutting the bottom of the box, and folding the bottom flap underneath the box. Stand up the box and then cut open the top so that you can just lift the box right on over the package. And this is what you see inside. Take off the top pieces of styrofoam and then lift over the box. And this is what's inside the box. Then just take off the styrofoam and the plastic wrap. Do yourself a favor and fully inspect it before you get it all apart so that you can more easily put it back in the box and put the pieces back together if you have to ship it back. Now this one actually has two problems with it. One, a manufacturing problem. You notice this here? I can put my eye up to it and see clear through the machine. So if it's supposed to have silent shred, you don't want any uh, breaks in the um, outer packaging to let any additional sound through. Over here is a shipping issue, I believe. You see the moldings cracked there? So that's cracked, so um, this unit's going to go right back. And this is actually my second unit. The first unit that I received came with a small crack on the side of the molding over here. You can see on the side. Um, so I just sent the first one back to Amazon and got a replacement right away. Now package number three. Open on the bottom and stand it up. Open the top and lift off the packaging, like so. And then inspect what you've got. Inspecting and crack. So there's another crack in this third unit that I've received here. I'm concerned that it's going to crack all the way up to here and what's going to happen to the molding. Further inspection finds more damage. So you see here, it's dented in and you can see the bends in the metal here around the electronics here. And you can, if you look above the handle, it's supposed to be flush here, but you can see that it's, it's dented in. In fact, this whole panel here is concave, bent inwards. And I think that's what caused it to flex here by pushed in here, it cracked the corners. So we definitely have something that impacted and I worry about the underlying electronics if it's literally dented inward. But yep, even though the box was in really good shape, the unit has another crack in it. Now I'm opening the fourth unit that I've received. Open it up, and by the way, the styrofoam this time isn't shredded to pieces inside the box. Take the box off, now inspect it. And this time, mine came out really good in shape. I didn't find any cracks or problems all the way around on the top, so Take it apart further, take the bottoms off. Finish inspecting and this time we have a winner. One tiny thing to mention is after pulling out the drawer, I did find one little plastic screw left over at the bottom of the case here. Now I didn't find anywhere that this thing was actually belongs to um, after and I thought maybe it was on the bottom of that, but I, it's plastic, I figure it's probably not that important. So I'm gonna keep it for now and give it a try. And the last one works great as seen in the video earlier. Well, there you have it. I'm really happy with it. So I really don't have anything to complain about other than I thought it was gonna be a little bit more quiet. Otherwise it takes everything that I can throw at it. I've been really happy with my purchase. Thanks for watching the review.